Dealing with depression. Depression is a horrible thing. And it's something that I've been dealing with for most of my life. Not, not a major depression, which is crippling and you're not able to do anything. Just minor chronic depression. And over the past few years, I've developed some things in my own mind that have helped me, helped me cope, and helped me go throughout my day, and sometimes, a lot of times, thrive. And I just want to share these things with you so you can either use them or pass them on to somebody who might need them. The first thing is, is just to have low expectations. Let me explain. If you read any self-help book, you will see that there's things that you're supposed to do to cheer you up, to make you happy. That things that happy people do. And they might be meditation, writing down things that you're grateful for, exercising, possibly going to therapy, or even antidepressants, which don't work all the time. All these things put into conjunction would probably make you feel a lot better. But that's a very difficult thing to ask of somebody who is dealing with minor depression is normally pessimistic. It's great if they can just do one of those things. Now, if you're doing one of those things, it may work. It may work for a short time and then not work at all, or it may not work at all from the very beginning. And when that happens, it can be very disappointing. And that disappointment can be dangerous because it could spiral downward with your mood. It's happened to me many times. What I like to do is just to have no real great expectations. If I exercise, I don't, I don't think that when I'm done, I'm just gonna feel great and happy because it doesn't always work that way. Many times it doesn't work that way. Or I used to do meditation. I don't really do it so much anymore. And actually sometimes it would really work. I would feel nice and calm and it, it would work. But most of the time it didn't. And that's why I don't do it any, anymore, though I, I should. And this can be said about all these things that you, that you read about. So just go in with low expectations so you're not disappointed afterwards because a disappointment leads you to stop doing it, as evidence would be with my meditation. What I believe, because I've read it and listened to about this, is that our minds are like computers. And these computers have been programmed. And if you're dealing with depression, especially depression over a long period of time, chronic depression, your mind has most likely been negatively programmed over a long period of time. And you can't just change that in an instant, except for maybe with drugs, which I don't really believe in. So to change your program in your mind, is going to take a huge effort every day over a long period of time. And if you do that, great. But if you don't, you're not able to, just have low expectations for the things that you do. Don't beat yourself up that you're not doing everything you're supposed to do. Beating yourself up is the worst thing that you can do. Because you might imagine that What's wrong with me? Why am I being lazy? The other people are happy. But why am I not doing everything I'm supposed to do? Don't start thinking like that. You know, you were born with something or you got negatively programmed. It's not your fault. And it's not the worst thing in the world either. There are people around who are blind. There are people around who are deaf. There are people around who are in much worse situations than you are especially because you have the ability to watch this video. If you have the ability to watch this video, things are probably not that awful for you. And you need to know that. The second thing is 
unless you have major depression, which I said I don't know too much about, if you have minor depression or you're just in a low mood, you have to realize that this is not the time to make major decisions when you're in a low mood. And do not talk to somebody about your life because it's just going to come out super negative. Your mood will change. If you can, wait until you get into a better mood before you make major decisions, before you get on the phone with somebody. Unless you have the ability to change your mood before you do those things, which I do sometimes because it's just something that I've done over and over again. But if you're not at that point where you can do that, put up that phone call or that conversation if you can. It's just gonna come out wrong. These are the tips that I have for you. And if you like this video, and how could you not? Give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.